Good morning and good afternoon. Today is the International Day of Peace designated by the United Nations. So today we're going to uh, go through a little bit of a modified version of the 10 mindful movements from Plum Village. We'll make a, a few tweaks here and there, but by and large they're the, the standard set from Plum Village uh, founded by Thich Nhat Hanh, um, world-renowned uh, Buddhist teacher. So let's begin today just warming up a little bit. Put your feet about shoulder width apart. Just relax your arms to the side. Knees soft, upper torso erect. Close your eyes for a moment. Just check in, deepen out the breath a bit. Breathing in through the nose if you're able. And taking the out breath, breathe with the mouth or nose. close today with a, a brief Taoist inspired meditation for inner peace, clearing the mind of your inner critic and relaxing the body. Let your eyes drift back open and let's begin to turn the upper torso from side to side, just letting the arms swing free. And once you feel yourself falling into a bit of a rhythm here, go ahead and close the hands into loose fists and begin knocking on the lower belly and lower back. Last couple of days of summer weather over the weekend. Front moved in overnight. Feels like fall today. Tomorrow we'll transition into fall with the autumn equinox. Or as my youngest daughter tells me, equinox. And we'll do a full metal element focused practice tomorrow. Let's take the front hand up the body and we're knocking in that little hollow area between the shoulder and the chest. Let's bring it back down to the belly. And then let the arms float off the body again, making your turns a little bigger, letting the momentum of that arm swing pull your back heel off the floor. Still just breathing deeply and naturally. Connect the breath up in a moment. Oh, let's slow this down. Start to let the movements get smaller. <clears throat> work our way back to our neutral wuji and let's connect to the breath spinal cord breathing breathing in spread the elbows apart squeeze the shoulder blades together 
And then as you breathe out, fold it all back in and gently round the back. Just let the body follow the breath. And for the last few, let's add a little bit of a turn at the top. And back to center as we exhale. other side. And then just rise back and relax into Uji. Begin the 10 mindful movements with something we're familiar with, letting the arms float up in front. A little bit above shoulder height, let the elbows lead as the body melts down. Commencing move. Goes by many names. Opening the door, opening the flow. Something simple like rise and fall. charge of your pace. Not necessarily following me so much as following your breath. And you can even close your eyes if you'd like. I'll let you know when the last one is coming. So take a peek for the next one. Take one more with the palms facing the floor. And this time at the bottom, turn the palms in toward one another, widen them out just a little bit, and then all the way up. Up overhead, but don't arch your back. And return to the sides, rising like we're holding a stick. Don't press too hard on your stick hurt your hands, but don't let it fall either. Long breath in as we rise. Long and full out breath as we melt back down. One more time, and a little pause at the top. And then as you breathe out, arms fall down to the side to about shoulder height. Breathe in, and then on the out breath, 
Fold the elbows in, fingertips come toward or even to the shoulders. Body melts down. Breathing in, expand back up. Breathing out, fold in, fingertips to shoulders. And maybe a little dip of the body too. As always, keep the movements inside of your comfort range. A little bit of tension, a little bit of stretch is a good thing. You don't want to take it to pain. One more time. Collapsing into the shoulders. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bring the hands, palms up to the front. Breathing in. Draw them back along the body. Spiraling in the back. Backs of hands come to the front. Breathing in as we draw back. We spiral, come back to the front. Let's get ready to reverse direction on this one. Draw in and then push the palms out, spiral the hands in the front, and sweeping around, spiraling the hands in the back to return the palms to the facing top. And it begins to look a little bit like parting the mist, or parting the fog, or parting the clouds. past your body, breathing in all the way to the top with a gentle arch of the back, breathing out, holding forward, letting the arms pass the body. Stretch the lower back, flexing and contracting.
just come up one more time. And then release to the side. A little set up for the next one. I'm going to toe heel in a little bit, put our heels together. Um, if you experience any pain in your knees, back the heels apart from each other a little bit. Hands on the waist, come up onto your toes. Breathing in, dipping down, breathing out. Returning the vertical, staying up on the balls of your feet. One more. And step the feet back apart a little wider than hips width. And we begin hip circles but with the head leading the upper torso. through this one. The next two forms are the two that require some balance work, some single-sided. So you want to edge closer to a piece of furniture, back of a chair. change direction with our circles here, keeping the head facing forward, letting the head lead the upper torso, so we circle the hips, Couple more. Get back around once. Come on back to center. Bring your feet in just a little bit back to our neutral. Would you but keep your hands on your hips? Shift your weight to one leg. On an inhale, pick up the other leg. On the exhale, extend it. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, extend the foot outward. this side. Inhale back in. Set that one down. Shift the weight to it as you lift the other one. Exhaling as we extend. Inhale. Bend the knee. Extend one more time as we exhale, breathe in, and then breathe out, set that one down, shift the weight to it, pick up the other foot, let it hover, on an inhale, come forward, and about halfway around, and then exhale to complete the arc, hover the foot if you can, tap it if you need to, now retrace that circle the other direction. other side. Just 
I'm going to split the breadth in half with the arc. And set that one down. Let's go back to the other side, do two here. time hovering if you can the last one on this side set that one down go back to the other side two here last one Set them both down. Come on back out to just a little wider than shoulder width. Hands fall to the sides. So breathing in. Turn one foot and then scooch the other foot in just a little bit. Now breathing in. Bring the hands up along the sides. Breathing out. Press forward. Breathing in. Open up. Breathing out. Gentle lunge forward as the palms approach each other. A little bit like the dove spreads its wings. One more lunge forward, and then let's open up, turning to the other side, lunging, pressing forward, breathing out, breathing in, spreading open, breathing out, gentle lunge forward. front leg as we open up. Banding the knee into a gentle lunge as we push forward. One more. And let's open back up, turn back in, and release. Now let's take it into our guided meditation. We'll close with the meditation. So arms float up on the side, coming in like we're hugging a tree. Let the elbows drop, soften the shoulders, widen the feet just a little bit, and then sit back on the edge of your tall stool. Body should be relaxed but under tension. The difference between Taoist meditation and Buddhist meditation is Taoist meditation is almost always done standing and in a static posture, but much shorter than the Buddhists would do. They like to sit for long periods of time. But close your eyes, deepen the breath. Focus on the breath coming in. Breathing in through the nose. Feel the breath coming in, the openings to the nose. We're going to take 10 breaths here, focusing on the breath in. Just out breath. A 
relaxing into the posture with every out breath. Focusing on the breath with every in breath. One more breath, focusing on the breath in. And then let's shift our focus to the out breath. Making sure we're breathing out a complete breath. Letting that out breath, let us relax into the posture. One more full breath with the focus on the out breath. And then move your focus to the entirety of the breath. Letting the tongue and the rest on the upper palate as you breathe in. And then letting the tongue drop away from the upper palate as you breathe out. One more full breath. And then on this last breath, a little bit deeper inhale. And then as you exhale, let your hands slowly fall to the lower dantian, hand over hand over the lower dantian. And relax back up to vertical position. And bring your feet in just a little bit. It's more comfortable. Just a couple of breaths here, centering our energy as we finish up today. Deep breath in, and as you release that breath, the eyes come back open, the hands release to the sides, do everything on a normal little shake out at the bottom. Thanks for joining me today on this International Day of Peace. Namaste.